love isn't the best place to find a lover So the bar is where I go If you want to buy F1 2017, use the Amazon.com link for the div dig edition and the platform you want to buy the game for. Use the link be below to get the game. This way the channel can get a small kickback. This tough circuit may only have nine corners, but they're fast and they're bumpy. It's a true test for any racing driver. We have two DRS zones and watch out for overtakes into turn two as the uphill entry helps those trying to be the last of the late breakers steam up the inside. I for one can't wait to get started and there's another very excited little chap here beside me as well. It's our very own Anthony Davidson. Great to see you again today. Thanks for that Crofty and I'm really anxious to get underway here. We've got all the makings of a great race today world champions in competitive cars, lots of drivers on form, and I suspect a few strategists on the pit wall looking to try something a bit different and maybe jump their cars up the order. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Bottas, Massa, Perez, Hülkenberg, and Esteban Ocon, Sainz, Alonso, Lance Stroll, and Kvyat, Grosjean, Magnussen, Stoffel van Dorn, and Jolien Palmer, Verlein, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Five to five red lights. The grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. 
here we go, five red lights for the Austrian Grand Prix. The Red Bull Ring. Oh, wow. What happened? Let me know you're okay. I'm not okay. I just can't get into a wall. I should have been working. dinner. Yeah. This is single player. Notice what I'm using as a dashboard. Believe it or not, the game is sending my phone the car detail so if I cycle through I can look at my tire wear right on my my phone display right. yeah. Stay out of so now I'm looking at uh, tire details instead of uh, lap times and speed so I see that all my how my tires are doing right during the race We were not breaking piece up my brakes up a lot. Ten thousand a thousand degrees Fahrenheit my uh brakes get when I'm braking. That's when I do the braking. If I let the game break, like I go idle it. It only hits eight eight hundred. Nope. Oh wow. But it's fine, I can fix that. One thing about playing on a certain AI is you're able just to do that and you're brought right back onto the track. But that time I got a, a warning from Charlie. Oh wonderful, that'll can over be erect me now. Alright, so my most rare tire is my left rear. As the tires get wear, worn. Well, that don't help the tire. Okay. 
Allez. Okay, on the road. You don't own anything. This is actually my prediction for this weekend's race. No worries, there's a little bit of a... ...shocking ending to the race. I love this scenery. I think this is Austria. I'm at Red Bull Ring in Austria. Because that's where this weekend's race is. Yeah, five minutes before something's gonna start falling on the track. That's gonna force me to go onto a different compound of tire. Save it. Well, that don't help. No worries, get a five, get a five. Nice, I'm gonna get back. Yeah. No, you're not. Let me know you're all right. You knew that the tracks were yellow flag. Even I saw the yellow flag indicators on my on my dashboard. My external PS4 dashboard. Alright, have fun. I heard something about the weather. Keep it at lap 8 because of the rain. What? And my tire doesn't work that warm. Racing to the rain because once the rain comes in, probably gonna deactivate. And this isn't gonna be white rain either. I think this is this is supposed to be heavy rain. Well, everybody's going to be coming in for that rain tire. I'd say, oh, my car's going to cool down.
Oh, yep, there's the car cover. Any second now, we're gonna be probably gonna all have to pin in for rain. Either full wet or in either intermediate tires, I can tell. Take note on what lap the rain comes in. Because rain is gonna be gonna be fun, trust me. Especially on the other way. We've been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Okay, on this train I'm gonna press this notification that Spotify stops. Your window is now open. Uh, three seconds time penalty. I still need some time to overreach uh the O2 driver. So what I'm gonna do before the rain comes in which I will know for sure it's gonna compete in everybody's chances. I'm gonna burn some of the success fuel on this race. Because I know I have a three second time penalty that in order for me to clean the race I need to in order for Lewis to win this race now, he's gonna need to uh, avoid this time penalty. Right. Four seconds to drift. Now, I know it's coming. And I don't see any reason to pit in. So my strategy basically changed due to this impending rain. We should see heavy rainfall on track in about 10 minutes. There it is. There's the rain. My plan is once race director Troy Reining disables the DRS, that's when mostly everybody's gonna wanna come in to get rain tires. Let's be mindful of the conditions. The track is getting wetter. Recommend you stay out for now though. Be much slower if we move on to inters this early. I'm gonna come in right when I see the word the arrest disabled. Whereas I'm expecting that to happen this time by. Oh wow, Raikkonen did not talk, decided to put on the rain tires. And I'm still on the... We think there's a viable strategy change available to us. Would you like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? Yeah, well, okay, I can... They want to... We're going to go on to the inserts now. Because now I'm even seeing... Yep, there's the DRS disable. Effectively now... Everybody's gonna come in for rain tires, not super wet, the wet, but the just the intermediate tires. And first, I see the coolness in my uh, super soft, my ultra. Okay, the stewards have now disabled the RS. The RS is now disabled. Yep, yeah, that's why you always want to. I think this is the to come in at this time. The track is wet. Yep, I'm coming in. Oh, 
but now effectively my tire now I'm on the super so it's intermediate so I'm the first one to switch off of the soft tire the, And everybody is cycling through to the full on intermediate tires due to this rainstorm that just came into the area. Alright, I see a big change in my my uh tires. I was at 92 push to 100 degrees on those when I was on ultra. Now I'm at 70. Now I'm seeing the coldness because of the rain on my. That's not gonna help. Actually, I think that's gonna be fine. Now we don't know if exactly if we're gonna go have to go on full super west. Remember, there's only like seven laps remaining in the event. than what I expected. It looks like we might be finishing on all super stuff. All the rain tires, these rain tires and not push into the uh full on wet. Looks like the track is really getting up on the water. We could see the rain getting worse in around five minutes. Heavy rain on its way. Alright, so we might see the track actually forced to put us on ultra. The rain, rain tire. They're saying within five minutes there's going to be more rain. So if there's a safety car, I mean, we could end up seeing the full on effect. And I mean, teams are going to be bunching up. So I see a two second, two point, two second differential between us being on that last sector being on the off charge than when we were, when, since 
we were put under the uh, super shock. Nope. These tires. Now, considering we're behind lap wow, traffic, he's already been displayed blue flag. And we Peter's gonna let us fly by him. Okay, so the last lap was a 20. So yeah, apparently this whole track is harder on the west. Looks like the track is over something. This looks like this is it. Yeah. And we basically lost the track to the drain. I know I can pit in and take so super less and I'll still win this race. Do I want to do a third pit stop? No. I only arranged for a two stop and I kept my two stop. But even though, yeah, the truck is basically saturated now where it's hard to even record a lap. Concerned about how fast these cars are burning. I'm not even sure how they're doing. We've been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. We're at the point where Charlie can just say, let's fight, end the race. I'm at Red Bull Ring in Austria, because that's where this weekend's race is. Uh, 
Yeah, five minutes before something's gonna start falling on the track. That's gonna force me to go onto a different compound of tire. Save it. Oh, that don't help. No worries, yellow flag, yellow flag. Nice, I'm gonna get back. Yeah. No, you're not. Voltaz. You knew that the tracks were yellow flags. You, even I saw the yellow flag indicators on my on my dashboard. My external PS4 dashboard. Alright, have fun. I heard something about the weather. Keep it on my face because of the rain. What? And my tire still hasn't worked that one. Racing to the rain because once the rain comes in, probably gonna deactivate. And this isn't gonna be light rain either. I think this is this is supposed to be heavy rain. Well, everybody's going to be coming in for that rain tire. I'd say, oh, my car's going to cool down. Oh, yep, there's the car cover. Any second now, we're going to be probably gonna all have to pin in for rain. Either full west or in either intermediate tires, I can tell. Take note on what lap the rain comes in. Because rain is gonna be gonna be fun. Trust me. Especially on the other way. Okay, on this screen I'm gonna press this notification that Spotify stops. Uh, three seconds time to I still need some time to overreach uh, the O2 driver. So what I'm gonna do before the rain comes in, which I will know for sure it's gonna compete in everybody's chances. 
I'm gonna burn some of the toxic fuel on this tray. Because I know I have a three second time penalty that in order for me to clean the race I need to in order for Lewis to win this race now, he's gonna need to uh avoid this time penalty. Right. Eighteen. Four seconds to drift. Now I know it's coming. And I don't see any reason to pit in. So my strategy basically changed due to this impending rain. We should see heavy rainfall on track in about 10 minutes. There it is. There's the rain. My plan is once race director Troy Rightning disables the DRS, that's when mostly everybody's going to want to come in to get rain tires. Let's be mindful of the conditions. The track is getting wetter. Recommend you stay out for now, though. Be much slower if we move on to Inters this early. I'm gonna come in right when I see the word the arrest disabled. Whereas well, I'm expecting that to happen this time by. Valtteri has entered the pit lane. He's in the pits. Oh well, Raikkonen did not decided to put on the rain tires. And I'm still on the... We think there's a viable strategy change available to us. Would you like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? Yeah, well, I can... They want to... We're going to go on to the interns now. Because now I'm even seeing... Yep, there's the DRX disable. Effectively now... Everybody's gonna come in for rain tires, not super wet, the wet, but the just the intermediate tires. And plus, I see the coolness in my uh, super soft, my ultra. Okay, the stewards have now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. Yep, that's why you always want to. I think this is the thing to come out of this time. The track is what? Yep, I'm coming in. So now it's like to be my tire. Now I'm on the super, so it's intermediate. Go, go now. So I'm the first one to switch off of the soft tire. That was a low stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Yeah, maybe. Valtteri is pitting now. Valtteri is in the pits now. And everybody is cycling through to the full on intermediate tires. Due to this rainstorm that just came into the area. Alright, I see a big change in my my uh tires. I was at 92 push to 100 degrees on those when I was on ultra. Now I'm at 70. 
Just, uh, now I'm seeing the coldness because of the rain on my... So that's not going to help. Actually, I think that's going to be fine. No, we don't know if exactly if we're gonna go have to go on full super west. Remember, there's only like seven laps remaining in the event. It looks like we might be finishing on all super so all the rain tires, these rain tires, and not pushing to the uh, full on left. You know, it looks like the track is really getting up on the water. So we might see the truck ask the force to put us on all the rain rain They're saying within five minutes there's gonna be more rain. So if there's a safety car, I mean, we could end up seeing the full on effect. And I mean, teams are gonna be punching up. So I see a two second, two point, two second differential between us being on that last sector being on the off stretch than when we were, when, since we were put onto the uh, super song. Nope. These tires. Now considering we're behind lap traffic. He's already been displayed blue flag. And we but the Peter's gonna let us fly by him. Okay, so the last lap was a twenty. So yeah. Apparently this whole track is harder on the way. It looks like the track is overtopping. This 
looks like this is it. And we basically lost the track to the drain. We are in North Heavy Rainfall, so... And we're all now basically just sitting on the... Ultra, the Intermediate Tire. Like, I know I can pit in and take so Super West, and I'll also win this race. Do I want to do a third pit stop? No. I only arranged for a two stop, and I kept my two stop. But even though, yeah, the truck is basically saturated now where it's hard to even record a lap, I'm concerned. Wow, how fast these tires are burning. I'm not even sure how they're doing. We've been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Honestly, we're at the point where Charlie can just say, let's bike, end the race. Sorry, the recording stopped there for a second. Nothing changed. I can already see this is going to be a big one. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Here we go, final lap of the race. In Heavy West. On Inters. Look what I'm racing in right now. You left in a week. Dad. Wait, Dad, you came, you left and it was sunny, sunny, right? It's basically in a hurricane. That's heavy rain. Blue flag, blue flag, let me overtake you, thank you. See ya. And here we 
Big Bill crossing the fence. Coming to the tractor fight in a rainy, rainy, at the end of a rainy ride. Great drive. We did it. Good job. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but that was crazy. So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Let's give it to Kevin Magnussen. That was a commanding performance today, very impressive indeed. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Antony, it's goodbye, here's, and see you again next time. Here's all the incidents that the uh, system detected. We had five warnings. Hamilton had a lot of warnings, personally, myself. I'm wondering, what happened at the start to cause all this? Uh, let's look at the race replay, shall we? Okay, so I want to look... I want to know... It was... I'm just gonna go back to Magnuson, and Magnuson started right off at 16, so I'm just gonna start to look at his camera. There we go. Find him. on the start they had a problem all right thank you for watching this video this will be my prediction for how the race